Hi, Tony Poulos here at Mobile World Congress 23. Today I'm with Kumran Siva, who is the Corporate Vice President of Strategic Business Development at AMD. Kumran, welcome. Well, thank you for having me. Kumran, AMD is seeing tremendous growth in the enterprise market, but how is this starting to play out in the telco market? Yeah, no, that's good. Uh, good question. Really, we've been pretty amazed at the amount of growth and the uh, success that we've had. We've been back in the server business now for about five years. We, uh, we feel really proud of ourselves on the execution. Four products in five years, all delivered within a quarter of when we said we're going to deliver them. And really importantly, what that's done is it's built up confidence generation over generation over generation. Um, and it's also given us an enormous competitive advantage and lead um, relative to you know, solutions out there in the market and legacy solutions that are there uh, today. What we've seen is um, you know, just steady growth, uh, steady building of trust, uh, and then also the ecosystem coming over to AMD. So this has been really important factors in uh, kind of our success, both in the enterprise, but now accelerating into telco. Um, so just, just a you know, high level, we're actually extremely well positioned for telco. You know, what happened is we have this chiplet architecture, which allows us to have both uh, high throughput. So, you know, with our late, latest generation, we're up to 96 cores. Those cores can be very efficiently used for packet, packet throughput, packet up applications. So for example, an NFV packet core, those kinds of applications are, are really run well on, on the AMD architecture. But, but the, the fact that we are on the latest node uh, process node of technology. So in, for example, in fact, our Milan CPUs are on seven nanometer, our Genoa CPUs are on five nanometer. We're actually able to run per core extremely fast. So what we see is really, really high performance, both per core for those applications that are very sensitive to latency, as well as high throughput for applications that need uh, you know, uh, high high throughput. So, uh, you know, terabit per second type of capabilities is very possible with our uh, latest generation products. I'm hearing a lot about AMD's Epic. What would you say is really drawing customers to look at it? Good question. So I think what's happened, you know, the, the, the first draw for Epic really has been performance, right? So if you look at, you know, what we could do, you know, even starting with Naples, but really in the latest generation, um, even Milan, the, 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 our third generation, the, uh, not, not exactly the latest, but our, se our second, we, we were advertising 750 gigabytes per second of, uh, of uh, throughput. So it was, it was phenomenal performance. Our latest generation takes us over a terabit per second of performance so with, with, the, with the Genoa CPUs. But what is now happening is with the world changing as it has in the last, last you know, year, really, is with the energy prices really starting to soar, it's no longer just about performance, it's performance for what? But this is actually an area that we shine. Performance is no longer just performance, it's performance within an envelope. And AMD performs the best, uh, has the best power, power efficiency across the board, starting with you know, kind of that low core count, uh, you know, like 16 core, going all the way up to our, our latest 96 core. We are able to have extremely high uh, performance of, uh, efficiency and power. Performance for what is, is extraordinarily good. So you're here at MWC 2023 with a very strong presence. What are you showcasing to the industry at this event from a server side? Yeah, it's a great question. So, you know, we have a number of solutions even within our booth here. We have F5 networks, we have Juniper, and then we also have Nokia demonstrating uh, VRAN solution. So there's, a, there's a, a huge breadth of solution. There's also a lot going on. Uh, that that you know that we haven't quite talked about yet, but we will you know you know just stay tuned. That's that's coming. But certainly across the board on uh, NFV, uh, we also had Amdocs announced with us as well and their their solution with us. So we have we have solutions across the board. We have a lot going on. So just just come to the booth, take a look at what we have to offer, but also look at uh, you know key, key stay tuned for solutions coming coming down the pike. The industry's seen AMD progressing on the core side, for example, with a recent announcement of validation of the Mavenir 5G core components, which is great news. But what is AMD doing to progress its work in the RAN space? Great question. So yes, we, we view our, our solution as having potential end-to-end. -end. Um, and so one of the things that, uh, you know, at our analyst day last year, you know, when we, when we talked about the Zen 4 architecture and the plans, the first part, which is Genoa, has already been released. There's another part that's coming out called Sienna, and this part is 
optimized, is our first part that's optimized for edge and telco applications in particular. We see specific use cases for this part. It goes up to 64 cores, will be the most power efficient, will be NEBS compliant, will also work in shallow depth servers. We believe this part is gonna be extremely powerful for uh, telco applications, and in particular for uh, the distributed unit you know, DU side of, of VRAN implementations. So across um, you know, VRAN, ORAN, all the different, all the different applications, uh, or all the different standards around RAN, um, in, in the 5G space, we, are, we, we believe we're going to have a very strong solution. Kumran, thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you. Thank you very much.